Hey friends, it's Therantheo Jenic here. We're gonna talk about shaking and breaking. Um, just a little short video tonight. And then Never Too Much Mycology is going to be doing a Q&A because I will be out of town this week to Colorado visiting. So I'm gonna start by saying that the only time I absolutely don't break and shake is when I'm doing Uncle Ben's tech because sometimes there's contamination in the seal. Um, those are the ones I don't break and shake. So if you're doing Uncle Ben's tech, it's completely up to you, but I personally don't recommend it. Um, the advantages of breaking and shaking are that you're gonna get more thorough and quick mycelium distribution. Um, but a disadvantage of it is, and some people have used it, view this as, as an advantage, it's kind of twofold, but if you have any contamination present in your bag, you're gonna be shaking that up and it's gonna contaminate the whole bag as where if you just had a spot of contamination, um, you could try to isolate that when you're birthing your tub and just not add that to your grow. Um, so that's a concern. Now I wanna say though, that when I'm using bags like this, um, I've never had a problem with breaking and shaking. So um, I'm gonna show you three bags here. One that is a yes that I'm gonna, I can go ahead and break and shake it. One that's a maybe, and one that's a no that I feel like it's just not ready yet. I wanna see a little more growth. So um, this is a gold mammoth 167. I inoculated a bunch of bags on the same day and the growth I've seen in this one is just wild. Like it's just, it's going so fast. Um, so I'm gonna, I am gonna go ahead and break and shake this. Usually I wait just a little bit longer, but since I'm gonna be out of town, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. And I expect when I get back, this will probably be pretty much uh, fully colonized. Um, I don't let my grain over colonize. Some people will um, wait until it's like a block of dried out rubber almost and it's really hard to break up. I don't do that. Um, if the whole bag was like this here, I would go ahead and birth that tub personally. Um, that's how I do it. I like my, my selling nice and young, fresh, um, and that's kind of what I go for. I feel like I have a bit more, more success with that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and break and shake this. So the method that I use, and this is really easy, is I like to just first flatten out the bag. If you wait to break and shake it until, until too long, it's gonna be harder to break up, which is kind of a pain in the butt. But if you just kind of flatten your bag out a little bit, not, not to where the seal is, like bend it up where your seal is, and you can push it down just to break up any clumps. Kind of, you know, like a light massage. Especially concentrating on the bottom since when you inject a liquid culture, um, that's where you're going to start to see that um, the liquid goes and where it starts to colonize first. So I'm just kind of massaging the bag, trying to keep it off the seal. It's a little hard to do this the way my phone is situated. I don't want to knock it over. I was gonna do that haha <laughs> all right hold on here we go okay so now I'm gonna actually shake the bag the way I'm gonna shake it is I'm actually gonna um and you could if, if you feel more comfortable doing it where it's not touching the patch you could actually use a zip tie and zip tie it here and shake it um, I'm not really worried about that though so I'm just holding it here where the patch is just below and I'm just gonna give it a a good shaking. I'm gonna grab the seal at the bottom. I'm gonna swirl it a little. And now I tip it on its side so I'm kind of moving around. And that, and then make sure you open the bag up so that all of your grain drops down. And that bag is, it's broken, it's shaken, and it was very simple. So now I wanna move into um, some other bags here. So I've got this Zico that is colonizing pretty quickly. Actually, it looks like I did this one on the seventh. So this is crazy growth for the seventh. Um, and I could break and shake this. I'm seeing a lot of good growth, but it kind of looks like I spread out the mycelium or the liquid, the liquid culture pretty well when I mixed it in the first place. So I'm actually going to wait to break and shake this one until I get back. But this is really a matter of preference, to be honest. 
So this is one. This is the Clockwork Orange Tap by Dirty South Mycology that I um, am growing from a clone. And it is, um, was done on the first. It, tad is always just a little bit slower, like a lot of the albinos are. It's got mycelium growth, but I want to see that develop more personally before I shake and break it. Um, I, I feel like since it's got such a long way to go, I don't want to disrupted the balance it's got in terms of moisture by like shaking it around letting some of that moisture evaporate um in the seal there's a lot of reasons I don't but really I mean I'm also incredibly patient so this is just kind of some examples of when I shake and break when I don't I hope this is helpful to you guys and I hope you have the best week ever